let's take a look at converting fractions to percents. When we're dealing with fractions, we learn that any number over 100 can be written as a percent. So if I can turn 20 into 100 somehow, I'll just take the top number, the numerator, and turn it into a percent. So when I do this, I'm going to set up a proportion. I'm trying to turn 20 into 100. In order to do that, I could multiply by 5. And if I multiply across the bottom by 5, I'll have to multiply across the top by 5. 4 times 5 will give me 20. Now the top number, the numerator, is 20. The bottom number, the uh, denominator, is 100. So all we're going to do is take this top number, this 20, and put it in front of a percent sign. So 4 over 20 is 20%. Now sometimes, we're not going to be able to turn this bottom number uh, into 100, so let's look at 9 over 30. Again, I would like to try to turn the bottom number into 100 because the top number would automatically be my percent, but 30 can't evenly go into 100. 30, 60, 90, 120, we didn't hit 100, so I'm going to have to reduce. Anytime that I can't find a scale factor, whether it's horizontal, uh, horizontally, or vertically, I uh, automatically think reduce. So I see 9, I see it's divisible by 3, I also know that 30 is divisible by 3. So 9 divided by 3 gives me 3, and 30 divided by 3 gives me 10. So I turn 9 over 30 into 3 over 10. So I'm done with this one. Now I can get from 10 to 100. 10 times 10 is 100, so 3 times 10 will give me 30. Now the top number is 30, the bottom number is 100. Anytime the bottom number, the denominator, is 100, just take the top number and put it in front of the percent sign. So 9 30ths is 30%.